Hey everybody! Welcome to this week's Quitna. My name is Sarah and I'm a teaching assistant at Cyber Vista and guess what? I just passed my SISM exam. Yes! Today we're going to talk about the following question. Now a good way to practice is to stop, reword the question using your own words. And this is especially important on the SISM exam because the language can get pretty tricky. So I've already underlined these keywords. Now I'm going to reword it. So reported user. Hmm. Uh, the user reported a claim, but we're not sure if it's for real or not. Malware. That can get pretty tricky. We don't know what that's really about. Incident responder. You know that you have to do something. And next. Not what I did to prepare for the incident, not what I'm going to do at the end, but what is my next step? Okay, now we're going to take a look at our answer choices. So we got answer choice A. Contain the incident by disconnecting the user's computer from the network. So this is great. This, this, might, this is a maybe. Um, in fact, one of the main goals of incident response is to contain and minimize damage to the organization. Okay, moving on to B. Eradicate the malware in a sandbox. This is also good. We would also want to eradicate the malware if in fact it existed. But eradicate comes after contain in incident management. So we can get rid of B because going back to our question, what do you do next? So since eradicate comes after contain, B is out. Now let's go to C. Document and report the malware to senior management. This is also good. We want senior management involved in incident response and incident management, but similar to B, document and report, that goes under lessons learned. And lessons learned is in the last step of incident response. In addition, we do not want to embarrass ourselves and report a false positive on malware that we're not sure if it actually exists. So C is going to be out as well. Now we're going to go to D. Verify the claim. What? This language? That's, that's kind of weird. What does that mean, verify the claim? That's really vague, but you know what? In SISM, that's, that's, what it, that's what the language is. It's vague, and what we need to do is go back to our question and fill in the blanks. So verify the user's claim, right? So this, this makes sense. So now we're between A and D. Going back, what should you do next? Well, we want to verify the claim before we can contain the incident. And verify is part of identification, which comes before contain in the incident management process. So our answer is D. Just to recap, in incident response, we need to trust but verify. Now. I got enough of these questions right on my SISM exam that I am a certified information security, mm -mm. SISIF, certified information security female. There's a huge gender gap in cybersecurity. Women are really underrepresented and cybersecurity needs a lot of help. So ladies, go get your certs because the future is female.